Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome back to another episode in the Rayo Vallecano career mode. This is episode number 42. And we started today's episode off by clearing up my inbox a little bit. Uh, neglected it in the last episode doing a live video for you, but you can see the prize money updates there, uh, which you would have received after our Europa League uh, success, going through to the round of 16, and also in the Copa del Rey as well. That was, of course, the last game in the last episode, that Copa del Rey semi-final second leg against Villarreal, when we defied the odds despite fielding a backup side and made it through to our first ever Cup final with Rayo, and of course, that'll be coming at the end of the season. We'll be taking on Barcelona, as you guys know. We was taking a look at the squad report right here, and you can see how the current uh, how the players are currently getting on. Uh, currently in March, right now, just beginning of March, you can see how the players are currently developing. This is one of the final three or four squad reports, I think. So you can see how the players are currently getting on. Nice, healthy attribute changes for quite a few of the players, and I feel as though even though this squad is in the early stages of full redevelopment, if you will, and being revamped fully, uh, if I was continuing this career mode it's still looking pretty decent and uh, you can see that I've laid down the groundwork with this Rayo side for the future and it's a bit disappointing we'll never get to fully develop it like we do with many other teams in my career mode series on YouTube over the past five years but either way we've uh, we, we've got a solid squad here and I really really like it indeed uh, look at the league table as well 12 games to go we are of course one point behind our rivals Real Madrid right now and of course we do have a better head-to-head -head record against them as well which is worth noting after our draw against them in the last episode which was of course our last league game, that 1-1 uh, draw, which in all honesty, I think we could have won that game. But uh, anyway, in the Copa del Rey, as you can see, confirmation will face Barcelona in the final. And in the Europa League as well, we've been drawn against the German side Wolfsburg in the round of 16. We beat the Schicktas over two legs in the round of 32 stage. Now we'll take on Wolfsburg, first leg at the Estadio de Vallecas, and you'll see that tie as well, the first leg at least, in today's episode as well. But for the first game of today's episode then, we do indeed take on Real Betis here at the Estadio de Vallecas, coming on the back of that win against Villarreal in the Copa del Rey semi-final second leg. But of course, our last league game was the 1-1 draw against Real Madrid. So coming into this one, hoping to return to winning ways in La Liga. And the first chance would fall 36 minutes in. Bainer won us the ball back here and eventually it came towards Sebalos. He tried to roll it through towards Bainer. And how about this for a stroke of luck? We took the lead eight minutes before the break. Bainer scored once again. And this season has been getting forward more and more and being amongst the goals than last year, compared to last year, I should say. And we got very lucky here because the number free for Batiste, tried to clear the ball and with the wet turf, with the rain pouring down, he slipped over which allowed our skipper Bainer to run onto the ball and slot it in at the near post. So a real stroke of luck there that gave us the lead in what was a very uneventful uh, uh, first half. So 1-0 to Rayo, but in the second half, he just four minutes after the restart, Batiste had their first real chance of the game. This strike by Leandro Damial going just wide the post and behind for a goal kick. But in the 59th minute, a good chance for us to build on our lead and make it 2-0. Moreno sprints down the left hand side here at a uh, former Liverpool left back cuts inside, crosses to the far post, picks out his full back colleague, really ever see full backs linking up uh, in uh, in FIFA for me at least, picks out Ivan Lopez with his volley, went wide of the post with 10 minutes to go there, Real Batiste had one late chance to try and get themselves back on level terms and they would as well Petro's headed in a cross to the far post ran to the cameraman and made it 1-1 with the away side not performing too well this season getting themselves a surprise equaliser to send a travelling fans balmy so 1-1 and we were failing to deal with the long balls Batiste gets on putting into the box eventually it was chipped in towards the far post I think it was Mera just couldn't get there or possibly a mat and as you can see Petros won the header and made it 1-1 and that was how the game would finish as well final score Rayo 1 Real Batiste 1 and a very very disappointing draw now two games without a win in La Liga as well and when you want to stay in the title race when you are considered underdogs as well these are the games where simply put we we have to win. Batiste did not do much in this game other than keep hold of the ball. He had a couple of chances, yes, including that late one, but our home form has been the reason why we've had such a successful season so far. We'd won 12 of our 13 games at the Estadio de Vallecas this season, just losing once, and that came to Barcelona, which you can forgive us for losing that game, but against Real Batiste at home, where it's been a fortress for the most part this season, you got to win those games, man, seriously, and those are the type of games we'll look back on come the end of the season if we don't win the title and say, that's where we went wrong. We should have picked up maximum points in that one. But still, had to put the negative draw against Batiste behind us for the next game in today's episode as we will take on the German side, Wolfsburg, in the first leg of the Europa League round of 16. So really looking forward to this game, being in front of our home crowd as well, uh, being at home at the Stade de is always helpful for us with such a good home record this season. But the first chance did fall to Wolfsburg. Kepa made a really good save though, but in the seventh minute here, just a few minutes afterwards, we had a really good chance to make it 1-0 after Dante lost out to Adama, who rolled it 
through towards Rui Faria. And Adama this season, who has been Mr. Assist and our best player of the season, picks out our 18-year-old Portuguese striker from the academy. And our scout future star makes it 1-0 to Rayo and scores a really big goal. Really, really poor from Dante, giving the ball away. Adama wins it back. And when Adama's got the ball and a teammate in space, you know he's going to find him, considering how he's been playing for us in his debut year for us. A nice assist there and a good finish by Faria. Made it 1-0 to Rayo in an important game. And in the 23rd minute, how about this as well. We are one goal up and could have made it 2-0 after Freer, our goal scorer, played through Perez. He was running through one-on-one. -on -one. Now, though, the skipper Wolfsburg took down Perez, and it is no surprise that inside the area, with a clear goal-scoring opportunity, Naldo prevented it by taking him down and didn't win the ball. He left the referee a little alternative, and the Brazilian centre-half was sent off as well. So Perez wins a penalty and got taken down by Naldo there. Definite clear penalty. He's the last man. It's a clear goal-scoring opportunity. Simply put you know you're running the risk of getting a red card if you're going to do something like that and the referee had little alternative I feel so Naldo sent off Wolfsburg down to 10 men and a chance for us from the spot to double our lead and make it 2-0 to Rayo Perez won the penalty he would stand up to take it as well he's usually deadly from this situation and he is in this game as well right into the top corner pops the goalkeeper on the floor and makes it Rayo 2 Wolfsburg nil just 27 minutes in so what a start to this tie as well against Besiktas we were a little bit nervy in that game away in Turkey despite being the better side and getting the win by a goal to nil in the first leg we didn't play as well right from the start but in this game we were attack minded, we were going forward at will, trying to score goals and we already had two, 27 minutes in with Wolfsburg going down to 10 minutes as well you may have felt we'd have the lion's share of possession at the break, obviously not 64% possession for Wolfsburg and a 92% pass accuracy as well, hardly surprising in this year's game but still I found that kind of funny but in the second half Wolfsburg showed as well that despite having 10 men they were still well in this tie and well in this game as well they hit the post there and in the 73rd minute Cruz's uh, sort of acrobatic volley on the edge of the area went way over the bar and uh, also wide the post a terrible attempt but still a sign that they were continuing to attack despite having that man disadvantage and being two goals down we had a good chance to wrap up the game though later on and make it 3-0 as uh, Faria's back heel neat back heel found Lopez getting forward here the right back was denied by a good save by Benaglio and eventually Wolfsburg got the ball clear but it was how the game was finished though final score Rayo 2 Wolfsburg nil a very solid win for us this one but I must say with Wolfsburg going down to 10 men inside the first 30 minutes and us having a two goal lead I really feel as though we should have built on that in this game and possibly killed the tie off because don't get me wrong with Naldo suspended for the second leg with us not conceding the way goal and being two goals up there's no doubt I'm not going to deny it we are favourites to go through to the quarterfinals now but let's be real here we should have finished this game off and finished a tie off really with the attacking prowess we have and also having the man advantage so in the end just like the Real Madrid game in the last episode I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't score more goals when we probably should have done but uh, still a comfortable win in the first leg anyway we'll go to the second leg knowing that if we score an away goal the tie will certainly be over and we do indeed have the best chance of progressing to the quarterfinals in the Europa League and you'll see the second leg as well in the next episode but still for the third and final game of today's episode here we will take on Espanyol here at the Estadio de Vallecas once again as we hope to get ourselves back to winning ways in La Liga after two games without one. First chance fell to Espanyol, but as you can see, that header was well saved by Kepa. But in the 17th minute, though, a good chance for us to take the lead. Camaras receives the ball, plays it through towards Perez. He scored on Thursday night, and he scores here as well to make it Rayo 1, Espanyol 0. We know this season Perez has not been as good as last year. He has had the two-month injury to deal with as well, but as I said before, he is always a reliable source of goals, and I think he always will be. We saw that in my Racing Santander save last season. It's the same in this Rayo save as well. He knows how to put the ball in the back of the net. So really good investment for us, Perez. One of our best ever signings in this series. And he does indeed give us the lead here in the first half. So good ball by Camarasa too. A really neat free ball by one of our best signings of the season, really. And a good finish by Perez too. So 1-0 to Rayo. And in the 34th minute, a good chance for, uh, for us to double our lead here. Cavieri found Hermoso. Quick little ball inside towards Seblos. And a neat little free ball first time found Exaberia. And how about this as well? Our right back starting ahead of Ivan Lopez, who needed a rest 
Forest. I was a little bit worried about that because Lopez is a great fullback, but Exaberia gets his first goal for the club and proves me right. I was right to start him. A really, really neat through ball by Sebelos without taking a first touch. He found the right back who found himself inside the area and he did find the back of the net as well. So 2 0 to Rayo, two first half goals, just like on Thursday night, and an unlikely source for this one as well. Exaberia getting the goal and making it 2 0 to Rayo. So 2 0 was the score at half time. As you can see, I felt we were on top in the first half too. Espanyol did have one chance early on. We were the better side. In the second half as well, just past the hour mark, our first chance fell the second half here. Perez went for goal from a free kick. The goalkeeper made a great save though, turned it onto the post, and then denied Issy as well with a brilliant double save there. And our former goalkeeper, Tono, kept us, uh, just like kept Espanyol really in the game. And from the corner, Camaras headed wide, but we were still in control in this game. Two goals up, and it was also where the game would finish as well. Final score, Rayo 2, Espanyol 0. And as you'll see as well, that keeps us top of the table. And with 10 games to go, approaching the business end of the season, we're leading on the head to head ruling. And I must say, come the start of the season, I didn't think we had much of a chance of winning the title but now I'll be pretty disappointed if we don't at least stay in the title race going towards the end of the season this is a really convincing win for us back to our best at home in front of our home crowd really good to see after the disappointing draw against Real Betis and a really really solid three points in this one so a big big win for us very encouraging indeed and again the treble as I said in the last episode is surprisingly still on I thought by now those dreams would have been long gone but instead we still have an unlikely chance of picking up all three trophies this season. But that went in today's episode though in the Rayo Vallecano career mode guys so a big 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 thank you for watching I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you're enjoyed today's episode then please do leave a like. Likes are of course much appreciated and they really help the channel grow as well. Much love to you all and have a fantastic day and I'll see you for the next episode in the Rayo Vallecano career mode very soon.